This video is for 8.6 day two. We're going to continue learning how to factor trinomials that have a leading coefficient other than the number one. This example, number three, is an application problem dealing with area of a rectangle. What we need to do is figure out the dimensions of this rectangle, given that we're, we know the area of the rectangle. So first thing is realize that the number in front is not a one. Therefore, we must use the slide divide bottoms up method to solve this. So first thing I would like to do is rewrite it. And slide divide bottoms up. First thing is slide. Circle the two and slide it to the negative seven. We're going to multiply. So we have x squared minus 13x minus 14. That 14 is coming from two times seven. Now we're ready to use the x method because the number in front of the x squared is now a one. So take the negative 14, put it up top, take the negative 13, put it on bottom. And now we wanna figure out what number, what two numbers do we multiply to get negative 14, but add to get negative 13. So first, first thing we have to agree on is that the numbers, there's going to be a positive number and a negative number in order to get a negative answer. So let's talk about the factors of 14. We have 1 and negative 14, negative 1 and positive 14, 2 and negative 7, and negative 2 and positive 7. So all of those numbers will multiply to get negative 14. Now the question is, what do they add to? So 1 plus negative 14 is negative 13. Negative 1 plus 14 is positive 13. 2 plus a negative 7 is negative 5. And negative 2 plus 7 is positive 5. The number we were looking for was adding to negative 13, so we actually found it in the first pair, luckily. So take those two numbers and put them in the blank spaces in the x. Circle those numbers and now we're going to rewrite them in factored form using the x in front plus 1 minus 14. So we just literally copy them over right there just in case you're lost. Okay, now we did the sliding. Now we must divide. Remember, we have to divide by the number that we slide. And it's always a number that you circle in the very beginning. So divide by 2 underneath both of the factors. Reduce if necessary. x plus 1 half, that cannot be reduced. However, the 14 divided by 2 can be 7, x minus 7. Okay, sliding, check. Dividing, check. Bottoms up. Bottoms up means take the number in the bottom and put it in front of the variable. So we have 2x plus 1 times x minus 7. And that is the answer. They asked for the dimensions, so we can write dimensions of rectangle are 2x plus 1 and x minus 7. Remember, if you'd like to check your answer, use the FOIL method or table method. Your choice. All right, in our last example, before we use the slide divide bottoms up method, we must factor out the GCF. Otherwise, we will not get the correct answer. So whenever you see a problem in the trinomial form, you want to look at all three numbers in front and see if there are any common factors. Now we learned how to find the GCF a couple sections ago, so I'll remind you how to find the GCF. Now just write the numbers that you multiply to get that bigger number. They must be prime, so we have 2 times 3, that's 6 times 3, okay? Now negative 33, negative 1 times 3 times 11, and positive 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. Circle the like terms, and it looks like the GCF is 3. So that means we must factor out the 3. Okay, let's rewrite this. Take the 3, put it in front. Now, we learned this a couple of sections ago. 
The stuff that's left in the parentheses is actually what you did not circle in your GCF process. So please take a look above, right here, 2 and 3, um, negative 1 and 11, and 2 and 2. So 2 times 3 is 6. There's an x squared next to it. And negative 1 times 11 is negative 11x and 2 times 2 is 4. So I got those number literally from the yellowed circled portions, if you can see up there. 2 times 3 is 6, negative 1 times 11 is negative 11, and 2 times 2 is 4. So that's just to show you where I got those numbers from. Now we're ready to slide divide bottoms up. I know that this is involved. Okay, first thing that you want to do is circle the 6 and draw an arrow to the 4. We are sliding and I'll put that over here so you can follow. So the 3 in front always just kind of stays at the outside until the end, okay? So now we're going to have x squared, we'll just keep the 3 out there, hanging, um, negative 11x and now the number we get here is 6 times 4 which is 24. Now we're ready to do the slide divide, actually we're ready to use the x method and then we'll divide. So take the 24 put it up top. Take the negative 11, put it on bottom. Now we have to figure out what numbers do we multiply to get 24 but add to get negative 11. Now in order to multiply to get a positive but add to get a negative, you must have two negative numbers. Two negatives. Sweet. Okay, so now the factors of 24. Negative 1 and negative 24 negative 2 and negative 12, negative 3 and negative 8, and negative 4 and negative 6. Now we just need to add them. We get negative 25. We're looking for negative 11, by the way. Negative 14, negative 11, ding, 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 and negative 10. This pair multiplies to get positive 24 but adds to get negative 11. So rewrite those two numbers on the sides. Now go back to your parentheses. The x is always in the beginning. Rewrite the negative 3 and the negative 8. The 3 is out front. We're not done yet. Unfortunately, we're getting close though. So now we need to divide. Divide by the number you slide, the number that you circled in the beginning, which is 6. So divide by 6 and reduce. The 3 is out front still. 3 6 is reducing to 1 half, and 8 6 reduces to 4 thirds. Very last step, bottoms up. Draw an arrow, draw an arrow, and I'm going to rewrite this on the right side so I don't run out of space. 3 is in front, the 2x minus 1, and then 3x minus 4. And that completes this example. The factored form of the original trinomial is 3 times the quantity 2x minus 1 times the quantity 3x minus 4. Feel free to pause there, rewind, all that, so you can fill in the blanks. Please write down any questions that you have, because I know this is tricky. That, that's why I did this in two days instead of one. And make sure you have completed day one lesson check and feel free to try day two if you feel prepared. Otherwise we will talk about these together tomorrow and I hope that you can understand, understand them well. See you soon.